Now Surah Qaf. But here please note that a new manzil has started from Surah Al-Qaf and a new Makki Madani group has also started. These two groupings of the surahs of Quran, you are familiar with them now. One is for recitation purposes into nearly equal seven parts. Manzil or Hizb, Ahsab. Second is groupings of Makki Madani, Makki Madani, Makki Madani. And they might be very small also, very big also. Somewhere the Makki portion is very long. And Madani is one surah, surah Nur, surah Azab. Sometimes the Makki is very small, surah Al-Fatiha. And Madani, Al-Baqarah, al Ibrahim, Al-Nisa, Al-Maida, very long. But these are the groupings, Makki, Madani groupings. But at two places in the Quran, I call it Qiranu Sadain, coming together of the two sacred things. Once we saw that the second group and second manzil both ended with Surah Tawbah and with Surah Yunus. The third group started and the third manzil also started. For the second time in the Quran we find here. But here the difference is that with Surah Hujarat, the fifth group has come to an end. Thirteen Surahs Makki, three Surahs Madri. But this was the fifth group. But at the same time, the sixth manzil has come to an end. But here there is a difference, the fifth and sixth, not the same. There at the junction of Surah Tawba and Surah Yudus, it was second group coming to an end, third starting. Second manzil having ended, third starting. Here it is different. Now in the rest of the Quran, starting from Kaf, we have one manzil only. The seventh manzil starts from Surah Al-Kaf. But two Makki Magni groups. Now the first of these two Makki Magni groups, it comprises of seven surahs which are Makki, ten surahs which are Madani. And both these Makki or Madani surahs of this group have a very special position in the whole of the Quran. The seven Makki surahs are the most beautiful surahs of the Qur'an. Surah Tukaf, Surah Tuzariyat, and go on and go on. And one of these surahs has been given the title by Prophet ﷺ to be the bride of Qur'an. Surah Al-Rahman is the bride of Qur'an. Most beautiful and also most difficult as a piece of literature, vocabulary-wise, most difficult part of Quran. Very difficult, but very beautiful. The rhythm, the divine music, words, every word beautiful. So these are seven most beautiful surahs of the Quran. And I told you, one is Rahman, Rusul Quran. The Prophet said, Surah Al-Rahman, Urus Al-Quran, that's the bride of Quran. Then the ten surahs, starting from Hadith, ending at Tahrim, that is also, as far as I understand, the most important part of the Quran for the Muslim Ummah, out of the three Madani surahs of the last group. Two were definitely in the form of a pair. Surah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Surah Al-Fatih. But Surah Al-Hujarat was solitary, unique. It has no pair. In the same way, out of these seven Makki surahs, the first of which was Surah Al-Qaf, this Surah Qaf is unique and solitary. But the rest of the six surahs, are divisible into three pairs. And you will see that the same relationship between Surah Al-An'am and Surah Al-A'raf. In one surah, you will find at taskir bi ayyam In the other, at taskir bi ala illah. 
So for two groups it is very evident. But the third and final group, that is a very unique group in the whole of Quran, we shall discuss later when we reach there, inshallah. The main theme of these two groups is Inzarul Akhirah. Warning of resurrection and warning of the day of judgment and warning of the hell, the chastisement of the hereafter. This is the main theme. So we start with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Qaf wal Quran al-Majid. The second surah, starting with one letter, Qaf. We had once surah Saad. The second is this. Wal Quran al-Majid by the glorious Quran. And here again, you think the, what, the, this oath is taken on what? Inna kala min al-Mursaleen. I told you, just as we had in Surah Yasin, everywhere you should feel that that ayah is understood here. Well, Quran in Majid, by this glorious Quran, verily, O Muhammad, you are the messenger of Allah. That ayah is understood here. Bal ajibu an jahu munziru minhum faqal al kafirun hadha shayun ajib. But they are wondering that a warner has come to them from among themselves. So the disbelievers say, this is a very strange thing. How can a human being a warner from Allah? And so, more strange, Aiza mitna wa kunna turaba, zalika rajum ba'id. Shall we be resurrected again? When we shall have died and became clay and, and dust and nothing else will remain from us. Well, this Returning again to life is beyond any imagination. Rajum Baid. Adalimna Mat al Kusul Ardumin, whom we very well know, but the earth diminishes from them. Vaindana Kitabun Hafiz. And we have a book which has the total record of everything. Balkazabu Milhakilam Majahu. But they have belied the truth when it has come to them. Fahum fi amri marij. So now they are confused in this matter. Afalam yanduru ila samai fauqahum. Don't they see to this, to the sky over them, to the heaven over them? Kaifa banaynaha. How have we constructed it? Wazayyannaha. And then adorned it. وَمَعَلَهَا مِنْ فُرُوجِ And there are no cracks in it. وَالْأَرْضَ مَدَدْنَاهَا And the earth we have spread. وَالْقَيْنَا فِيهَا رَوَاسِيَا And we have fixed mountains over it. وَأَمْبَتْنَا فِيهَا مِنْ كُلِّ زَوْجِمْ بَهِيجِ And we cause to grow therein of every lovely kind of vegetation. تَبْ سِلَةً وَزِكْرَا This is actually to give the mankind an insight, an admonition, reminding for every person who turns to him, to Allah. وَنَزَّلَّا مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَا مُبَارَكَ And we send down from the heaven the blessed water of rain. فَأَمْبَتْنَا بِهِ جَنَّاتِ مُحَبَّ الْحَسِيدِ And with that we made to grow the gardens and the grain of harvest. These are two things. A garden, the tree remains there. Only you pluck the fruit. But in the field, where you do you have this grain, the whole you know, plant is taken off. So that is Habbal Hasid. And gardens are Jannat. Vanakla Basakat in Laha. And there are tall date palms. Lahat al they have ranged clusters. This Kandilabad, all this we have created as a sustenance for our servants. Wahyayna bihi baldatan maita. And with this, we revive a land which had become dead. Kazalik al khuruj. In the same way, you will come out from this earth one day. 
Where will you go? You will be in this earth. Where from will you come? From this earth. Min haqalaknakum. And anyhow you will go there. If somebody is burnt and the ashes, where do they go? Although you have spread it in Ganges, <laughs> Ganga mein baha diya. Anyhow, final where will you go? In the ocean? Then settle down. It is going to be a part and parcel of the same earth. From the earth we take out trees and from the earth we will take you out. Kazalika al-Khuruj. Kazamat qablahum qawmu nuhin wa ashabu rasim wa samud. Belied before them the people of Nuh and the dwellers of Arras and Samud, the nation of Samud. Wa Adun, wa Fir'aunu, wa Ikhwanu Lut. Also the Ad, the Fir'aun, and the brethren of Lut, alayhi salatu wa salam. Wa Ashabu Laika, and the dwellers of the wood, thick wood, that is Ashabu Madian. Wa Qawmu Tubba, and the people of Yemen, people of Tubba. Kullun kazzabar rusula. All of them belied their messengers. Fahakka wa'id. So my threat came true on them. They were destroyed. Decimated. Annihilated. Afa'ayina bil khalq al-awwal. Very beautiful style. What do you think? Have we been exhausted due to this first creation? Our creative potential has finished. We can't create again. No. Have we been exhausted? Afa'ayina bil khalqi nawwal. Bal hum fi lapsi min khalqi jadeed. Actually, they are in doubt about a new creation. The shortcoming is here in your minds. Allah doesn't lack the power and authority and ability to recreate. But only you can't reach there. Your minds are low. وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ وَنَعْلَمُ مَا تُوَسْوِسُ بِهِ دَسُّهُ And verily we created the man. And we very well know what his animal soul whispers into him. This id or libido, our animal instincts. What is coming up. And from, you know, our subconscious mind, these things come up. And we mostly act according to that. Even we don't know. But we are under the influence of a bus of conscious mind. Our id or libido is driving us. So Allah knows. Whatever is whispering is this your nafs doing with you. And we are nearer to the human beings than their own jugular veins. We are very subtle. You can have no conception, no perception of us. But don't think we are far away. These two things are absolutely different. We are nearer to you than your jugular veins. نحن أقرب إليه من حبل الوريد. إذ يتلقى المتنقيان عن اليمين وعن الشمال قعيد. Just imagine when the two receivers, angels, receive. Seated one on the right and the other on the left. We have two angels. Everybody has two angels with us. They are recording whatever we are doing. Even every word which comes out, record it. Ma yalfidu min qawlin. He utters not a word. Illa ladaihi raqibun ateed. But there is a watcher over him. No word goes in vain. By uttering word, either you have earned some good deed or some bad deed. With each word, these words, these words never go in vain. Either you have sown a good seed or you have sown a seed of a thorny bush that you will have to have in the hereafter, with every word that you utter. Vajat Sakratul Mawti Bil Now it's very beautiful, you know. What has happening throughout the life, this is given here. Whatever we act, there are two receivers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, two angels, they are recording everything. Now, the time limit has come. 
Now comes the time of death. Pajat Sakratul Maut Bil Haq. And then the agony of death overtakes man. Zalika Makunta Minhu Tahid. Then someone would say to him, This was what you used to shun and avoid. Very important psychological reality. Every man tries to push away from his mind the idea of his death. He sees people dying. He joins their funerals, prays for them. But will it come to me? No, no, no. Push it away. Keep busy. Go on. You wanted to shun it. You never thought that time will come. Bajat Sakratul Maut Bil Haq Zalika Bakun Taminho Tahid. But now the third stage. Banufiqa fi sur Zalika Yawmul Wa'id. And then the trumpet will be blown. And that would be the day of the threat about which the messenger is warning you that day will come. What will happen? Vajat kullu nafsi maaha saikum wa shaheed. Every soul will, be, will come to the Lord and with it will be two angels. One will be pushing him. Go ahead. The other will be carrying the record. This is his book of deeds with me. That is to testify, witness. But Jaat Kullu Nafsi Maha Saikul, driver, pusher, a shaheed, and a witness. Lakad Kunta Fi Raflatin Haza. It will be said to them, You had been heedless of this day. You didn't think that it come, it will come. You thought these are the stories of the ancients. They have no reality. Now we have taken away the wheel or the curtain which was before your eyes. Now, today your sight is piercing. You can see everything. All the fundamental truths of this universal creation, now you are seeing them. فَقَالَ قَرِينَهُ هَذَا مَا and now his companion will say, this is he who was in my charge. It is, he is present. Al-Qiyah fi jahannam kulla kaffarin abid. It will be said, both of you, because two angels will be coming with them, with every soul, one driving and one carrying the record, that is the witness. So to them there will be the command, cast you both into hell every ungrateful and stubborn one. Man nail lil khayr mu'tadi murib, who was hinderer of the good. He wanted to put obstacles in the way of good and truth. Mu'tadin, transgressor, murib, and doubter. Alladhi jala ma'ala ilaha nakhara. Who set up with Allah another God? Now throw him in the very severe chastisement. Now the Satan with every soul, we have read before, for every human being there is a Satan also. Now that Satan will say, Rabbana maat gaitu, O my Lord. I never led him astray. Walakin Kanafi is a He himself was in the error far away. I shouldn't be thrown into the fire with him. I never led him astray. He himself was wrong in error. Allah would say, Now you don't quarrel with each other before me in my presence. 
وقد قدم تو لے کو مل وعید آئی ہیڈ آلریڈی سینٹ یو دی وارننگ وما يبدل القول لدي ما يبدل القول لدي nothing can be changed in my presence no words can be changed from ana bi zadam il labid nor i am unjust and cruel to my servants all creation whether a kafir or a muslim they are all my creation i am not going to be unjust to anyone the kafir disbeliever or the opposer of the truth well he will have what he did that's all and those who did good deeds served allah and his deen they will have their reward yawma naqulu li jahannam halim talaq imagine the day when we shall say to the hell are you filled up wa taqulu hal min mazid and it will say are there any more i am ready to take more wa uzlifat al jannatu lil muttaqin ghayra ba'id at the same time the paradise the garden will be near, brought nearer to those people who were muttaqins who were god fearing in the world and that garden was not very far off and it will be said haza ma tu'aduna li kulli awwa bin hafiz no this is what you were promised for each one who keeps on returning to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he is always remembering and repenting man khashi ar rahman bil ghayb who feared rahman the compassionate in the unseen waja bi qalbi munib and he has come here with a heart which is penitent qalb munib qalb salim this heart you have not polluted it with bad deeds the prophet says sallallahu alaihi wasallam when you commit something some wrong some sin there is a black dot on your heart if you repent it is cleared if you repeat another dot repeat another dot till that time that the whole whole heart becomes black and it becomes like this closed now no good sermon no good reminding no good admonition can enter it but who shall ever brought the heart in a healthy in natural way he had kept it as a trust of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and brought it back to allah so for him man khashiya rahmana bil ghayb wa jaa bi qalbi munib for them the garden is here udkhuluha bi salam now enter it enter this garden with peace having no fear zalika yawmul khulud this is the day of ever abiding you have to live here forever and ever لَهُمْ مَا يَشَاءُونَ فِيهَا وَلَدَيْنَا مَزِيدٌ They will have in that garden whatever they will wish to have. And we have more. What is that more? فَلَا تَعْلَمُ نَفْسٌ مَا أُفْيَ لَهُمْ مِنْ قُرَةِ عَيُنْ Many things which we can never imagine here in this world. Those bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. whatever we know whatever we wish whatever we can wish whatever we can desire for all these things will be already present and then whatever you call for whatever you demand whatever you order it will be presented lahum ma yashauna fiha wa ladaina mazid wa kam ahlakna qablahu bil qarnin how many a generation we destroyed before them whom ashaddu bin batshan they were more mightier in their prowess fadqabu fil bilad so they penetrated the lands conquering this area then that area devastating that area all big nations do this 
But they have might and power. They trample the earth. فَنَا قَبُوفِ الْبِلَادِ هَلْ مِنْ مَحِيسِ Was there any place of refuge for them? When the command of Allah came and they were to be destroyed, they couldn't find any refuge for them. إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَذِكْرَ لِمَنْ كَانَ لَهُ قَلْبٌ أَوْ أَلْقَ السَّمْعَ وَهُوَ شَهِيدٌ This ayah is very important. Quranic psychology. Definitely in this is a reminding for that person who either has a heart or he gives his ear while he is mindful. Now there are certain persons whose heart are healthy at their natural state. They get the guidance directly. Just as the revelation came to the heart of Muhammad Sallallahu directly, not, not through these, these years, no. He, he didn't hear Jibreel with these ears, no. It was a direct descending on the heart of Muhammad Sallallahu Now, you, if you have a sound heart, Allah's guidance will come to you directly, without your effort. If there are certain curtains, some obstructions, then you have to listen carefully and mindfully. That is the second way of getting guidance. In the Fizalika la zikra, the man kana lahu kalbun au al kasama or he gives his ear fully. Bahua Shaheed and he is mindful, attentive. وَلَقَدْ خَلَقَ لِلْسَبَابَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ وَمَا بَيْنَهُمَا فِي سِتَّةِ اَيَّامُ And verily and correctly and surely we created the heavens and the earth and whatsoever is in between them in six days. Now this subject has been repeated in the Quran several times, several times, six days. And I have been saying we can't understand these six days. We should say six cycles of time, six periods of time. Maybe at some time, whenever knowledge of cosmology and the knowledge about the creation of the universe advances, maybe we understand it, but not up till now. But here something has been added. And no fatigue or weariness, weariness touched us. Why? Because it is in Torah, the book of Genesis. That Allah created this universe in six days, and on the seventh day He rested. This is, you know, how the human mind crept into these books. Because the real Torah disappeared from the world in the year 587 B.C., when Nebuchadnezzar destroyed Jerusalem, and everything was destroyed. Temple was raised to the ground. Torah was lost. After about a century and a half, it was rewritten from memory. So here in this rewriting of Torah, the human concepts, they entered. And this is human concept. When you work for six days, then you need one day of rest. So they thought, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala worked very hard to create this whole universe in six days. So on the seventh day, he took rest. Allah says, no. We are inexhaustible. Our energy is never exhausted. We never feel tired. We don't need any rest. No weariness even touched us. فَاسْبِرْ عَلَى مَا يَقُولُونَ So, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, now endure with patience whatever they are saying. I told you that in the first three years of his ministership, ministry, this is a Christian term, when Muhammad started his mission, for three long years, 
the persecution that came from the kuffar was number one only verbal no physical assault for three years and number two this verbal persecution was also centered on the personality of of the prophet sallallahu only so that if we can kill his will everything will be okay why to beat others if his will is killed he loses heart he gives up this tabli well, okay that is why you will find in these early surahs fasbir ala ma yaqulun in surah al muzammil fasbir ala ma yaqulun wa hajurhum hajran jamila so you have to show patience on what they are saying about you and we read in, in surah al hijr wa laqad na'lamu annahu yaziqu sadruka bima yaqulun we very well know that your chest shrinks on what they are saying about you somebody comes and say he is a shayir he is a poet he is a soothsayer kahin soothsayers or he is a possessed person some evil spirit has possessed him some jinn has possessed him or he gets the dictation from someone or he is forging a lie against allah subhanahu wa taala so whatever they are saying about you wa laqad na'lamu annaka yasiqu sadruka due to the grief your chest shrinks but you have to take it patiently fasbir ala ma yaqulun wa sabbih bihamd rabbik and glorify your lord with his praise qabla tulu'i shams wa qabla al-ghurub before the rising of the sun and before its setting two prayers in the beginning first of all there was only the night prayer qul la ilaha illa qalila nisfahu wa bil qusm minhu qalila aw zid alayhi wa ratil qur'an tartila no prayer during the day after some time two prayers one that is fajr before the rising of the sun second the asr before the setting of the sun qabla tulu ash-shams wa qabla ghurubha qabla al-ghurub wa min al-layl fa sabbih huwa adbar as-sujud and now out of that long standing of the night it was relief was given some time of the night also wa min al-layl from the night time also fa sabbih glorify him wa adbar as-sujud and after the prostrations when you have prostrated you have prayed that after the prayer also that tasbihul fatima radhiyallahu ta'ala anha the tasbih that was taught by muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to his very dear daughter fatima you say 33 times subhanallah 33 times alhamdulillah 33 or 34 times allahu akbar so this is after prostrations wastami yawma yunadil munadi min makanin qareeb and listen attentively on the day when the caller will call from a near place when the trumpet will be blown it will appear as if someone is calling and not calling from very far off from a very near place yawma yasma'una as-sayhata bil haqq the day when will they they will hear an awful cry with the truth having a very big effect zalik yawm al khuruj that will be the day of your coming out from your graves so this is the second trumpet at first trumpet sa'a ya ayyuhan nas ittaqu rabbakum inna zalzalata as-sa'ati shay'un azim that zalzala that earthquake that shaking everything would be shaken when the mountains will move like clouds so that is first trumpet we have read it in surah zumar in the last last but what section man fi ghafi sur fa sa'iqa man fi samawati wa man fi ardi illa man sha'a allah summa nu fi ghafi ukhra fa idha hum qiyam yanzurun now this is the ukhra yawm yasma'una as-sayhata bil haqq zalika yawm al khuruj that will be the day of coming out of the graves inna nahnu nuhyi wa numit 
Verily, O mankind, you should know it is we who keep you alive. The saying of the Kafir was, Nahya wa namut. We ourselves live and we ourselves die. But the reality is, inna nahnu nuhi, we keep you alive. You can't live by yourself. Wanumit, and we shall make you die. Wailan al Masir, and then to us will be your return. Yawma tashakakul ardu anhum sira'a, the day when the earth will split asunder from them, and they will be coming out running. Sira'a. Zalika hashrun alayna yaseer. This is the gathering of the Day of Judgment, which is very easy on us. It's not hard. It's not difficult for us. Again, that what they are saying. We very well know. We know better than you know, o Muhammad sallallahu what they are saying. And you are not a compeller over them. You can't compel them to accept your... Your call. We have not given you the authority. Maanta alayim bi musaytir. No maanta alayim bi waki. Here. No maanta alayim bi jabbar. You can't compel them. They have a free choice of their own. Imma shakiram wa imma kafura. Inna hadayna hu sabila. Imma shakiram wa imma kafura. Faman shaf al yomin wa man shaf al yakfur. In Surah Al-Kahf. This is a free choice of every human being. And for you it is only that you can remind them, admonish them. فَذَكِّرْ بِالْقُرْآنِ مَنْ يَخَافُ So admonish them. Remind them with Qur'an. Whosoever fears the threat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now what is this taskeer? As I told you before also, in our ruh, in our spirits, we have number one, the knowledge of Allah, number two, the love of Allah. Because this has come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But it is dormant, sleeping. Our animal being has crushed it. Our attention is only towards our animal being. We don't pay, pay any heed to our ruh. But when Quran comes, by the recitation of Quran, there is a sympathetic vibration. You know, sympathetic vibration. And this is the activation of that dormant consciousness of the knowledge and love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is activated. The catalytic agent is Quran. But the real chemicals, they are already present in your own existence in the form of ruh.